As we're going to show in this broadcast today that there is no doubt at all anymore that the science of intelligent design absolutely crushes any competition, absolutely crushes any other theory about the nature of the universe that we live in. It, it's over. There is simply no contest. The preeminent theory, model, science of reality from this point forward, I declare on this show, is the science of intelligent design. The science of intelligent design. The science of intelligent and the absolute proof. <laughs> I mean, absolute. I'm using a strong word there proof is going to be given to you today in just a minute here. <laughs> I just can't even believe it, to be honest. Discoveries like what I'm about to discuss to you just never cease to amaze me. For many reasons, that it's all covered. Nobody knows it's covered up. And, well, since I was taught growing up that the world was was basically a random universe, to just to find out such hardcore, distinct verification that that's a lie just never ceases to amaze me. So here's the information. So here's the information. I'm reading from the abstract of an article. This is the first of many academic articles I'm going to be. Showing, discussing with you here today, and these aren't just some academic journals. These are you go ask your university professor what the most prestigious journal, academic science journals in the world are, and they're going to name the ones that I'm discussing here with you today. <laughs> okay, this is I'm going to read to you right now the journal Nature. Okay, there's a journal called Nature, and there's a journal called Science. Those are the two most, consider the two most prestigious overall academic science journals in the world. And I'm going to read you part of, I'm going to read you the, part of the abstract of one right now. Let me just read, okay, this is, this is the journal Nature, number 454, pages 362 to 363. Uh, March 18, 2010, but pu put online March 17, 2010. This is by a fellow named Ian Affleck, who teaches apparently in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of British Columbia. Listen to the title of this article. Solid State Physics. Golden Ratio Seen in Magnet. Okay? <laughs> Okay, so let's go through this other this Science Daily article. Uh, ScienceDaily.com. This was released on January 7, 2010. Title of the article, Golden Ratio Discovered in Quantum World. Hidden Symmetry Observed for the First Time in Solid State Matter. <laughs> let's find out what that first time, what that means. So let's, let's read here. Researchers from Helmholtz Zentrum Berlin... Uh, and it's, it's some German words, uh, in cooperation with colleagues from Oxford and Bristol universities, as well as the Rutherford App Appleton Laboratory, United Kingdom, have for the first time observed a nanoscale symmetry hidden in solid state matter. Okay, <laughs> did you catch that? This is the first time any symmetry of any sort has been observed in the nanoscale, okay, the, the quantum scale. Remember, quantum physics is the study of the base level energies of nature. Okay, the smallest building blocks that make up everything, little pieces of energy, like the electron or the muon or the quark. Okay, so specifically, what was found in uh, this study was that chains of atoms 
lined up together form uh, what's sort of like a string and it resonates a frequency or pitch <laughs> what do you know the pitch is in the ratio of 1.618 the golden ratio let me just read this paragraph to you to science daily again January 7 2010 golden ratio discovered in quantum world by turning the system and artificially introducing more quantum uncertainty the researchers observed that the chains of atoms acts like a nano nanotech guitar string Dr. Rel Radu Koldia from Oxford University who is the principal author of the paper and drove the international project from its inception a decade ago until the present explains here the tension comes from the interaction between spins causing them to magnetically resonate for these interactions we found a series scale of resonant notes the first two notes show a perfect relationship with each other their frequencies pitch are in the ratio of 1.618 <laughs> it's just, just amazing there's no defense that a random universe theorist in academia can give to counter this they there's no reason at all that the quantum base of reality should be exhibiting the golden the specific number of the golden ratio if we live in a random universe all the competing theories evolution random universe theories all the junk from academia no longer competes in any way with intelligent design science intelligent design theory when you hear a scientist say on the Discovery Channel or something an academic a professional say there's no evidence for intelligent design it's all a silly little parlor game and there's all this evidence for evolutionary science and the academic theories for the origins of the universe you can know two things one we have to be compassionate because they simply don't know the empirical data okay they have no idea they only academics typically only talk on their closed little worlds and only accept information from their closed little worlds and the second thing we can know and make no mistake about it is they are absolutely propagandizing the world with all of their thesis theses about the nature of the universe that we live in where we come from our origins the origin of the universe and so forth and we realize that everything we've been taught before this point by the professionals were lies and we can prove it up and down all over the place up and down all over the place up.